Since we're talking about cyclins, let's have a wacky bicycle race. Now the short acting medication of this class is tetracycline. So let's have a pair of twins riding a four wheeled cycle in last place. Up ahead are the long acting medications. So we have a minotaur on a bike for minocycline and a biking doctor for doxycycline. Pulling ahead of the others is a tiger for tigacycline, who's riding a heavily modified hang glider bike because it's a glycocycline, which allows tigacycline to easily glide over bacterial defense mechanisms. For the bugs treated by these medications, let's use the spectators of the race. First, tetracyclines are commonly used to treat acne, so there's a teen with a lot of pimples. His wheelchair-bound grandmother is also there with an oxygen mask to represent community-acquired pneumonia, which is common in nursing homes. Next, we have the intracellular bugs, so let's rope off an area for these guys. There's a young hiker who's also wearing an oxygen mask, since walking pneumonia is common in young adults. He's standing on a giant clam, which represents chlamydia, to get a better view. Next are the tick-transmitted diseases. So let's have a mountain climber with a red polka-dotted shirt for Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. He brought his French pet rabbit for rabbit fever, which is caused by Francisella. His girlfriend is wearing a brunette wig for C. brunettii, and a shirt with a giant Q on it to represent Q fever. She's throwing a giant wedge of lime at the doctor, since doxycycline is the first line treatment for Lyme disease. But the doctor is distracted from the swarms of mosquitoes chasing him which represent malaria. Finally, the doctor is about to run over a poor Mars rover for MRSA, which is already ran over by the tiger because both medications are effective against it. For side effects, we can use the referee of the race. He fell asleep in his chair and his skin is quite sunburned to represent phototoxicity. In his arms, there's a crying baby with big yellow teeth and very short arms to help you remember tetracyclines build up in the teeth and bones, and they should not be used by pregnant women or children. There's an electric fan on the sleeping ref's knees for Fanconi syndrome. Since the race is almost over, his alarm clock is ringing, which represents tinnitus. Next to him is his half-eaten lunch, which is a plate of rotting liver that's been sitting in the sun too long. This represents the hepatotoxicity caused by expired tetracyclines.